Hello Monstrium fans and welcome back to another Monstrium OC video. Today I'm going to review the brand new Grandpa's Diecast Chrome Bigfoot 5s by Greenlight Collectibles. Well, welcome back everyone to my first ever Greenlight Collectibles review. I've had a lot of requests to do these reviews. Unfortunately, I do not collect the Greenlight Collectibles unless it's Bigfoot 5. I really love the Bigfoot 5 model. I've always loved Bigfoot 5 as a truck. Um, I love the history of it, the way it looks. Obviously, it's one of the only trucks in the world besides other models that were built like it to exist with such big tires in the monster truck industry. So Bigfoot 5 has a big place in my collection. And when they started to produce, uh, Greenlight started to produce Bigfoot and the Kings of Crunch series uh, and Bigfoot 5, I really was interested. And I did actually get this Bigfoot 5, the first ever one, from uh, Bernie Rubber Toy Company of West Coast Toy Mafia, uh, Paul and Katie. So I want to thank them one more time for that. This was uh, sent to me for review. I never reviewed it, uh, again, because I don't really do reviews on Greenlight stuff. They also sent me a standard Bigfoot, which I do appreciate. I put that on my display shelf as well. But from this point forward, I'm only getting the Bigfoot 5 models. I might get the Bigfoot 7 models. It depends. Um, but so far, I have gotten the Bigfoot 5 standard. I just ordered the Green Machine Chase piece, which is a different version of Bigfoot 5, which is the green edition, the chase piece, meaning obviously a rare edition of this standard body. So I will be getting that. And then I look forward to getting the muddy edition of this truck as well. So you'll see probably my collection video next time, or maybe in a future soon to be video, I'll do a update of my collection uh, displays and you'll see these displayed. But today I want to thank Donald Price Jr. for the low price that he sold me these trucks for. Uh, these are Grandpa's Diecast, if you guys don't know who that is. Um, Floyd, who runs his own diecast company, uh, he has a company called Grandpa's Diecast, and he actually was working with, or did work with, the Greenlight Collectibles design team to have his own version of Bigfoot 5 produced. And his version was a Chrome Edition. So you can see right there, it says Chrome Edition Limited. And you can see the picture of Bigfoot 5. And there is the beautiful, absolutely stunning Chrome Bigfoot 5 in all its glory. And like I mentioned just a few minutes ago with the Chrome chase piece, the green one that was this edition, uh, they do chase pieces for every vehicle I believe that they produce, which they are usually green paint. But uh, in recent times, they've been uh, what we call raw, which is Zamac or not painted at all. Um, and I think this is what this represents with Floyd's uh, specific exclusive. The chase piece, which yes, there was a chase piece for this limited edition piece. The chase piece for the chrome blue was just a standard chrome. And let me tell you, this thing is insane. So yes, I also bought this from Donald Price in the same lot. It was just a lot of two trucks, but for the price of almost a single normal chase piece, this one here, I got both of these trucks. And I believe Floyd is still selling the remaining 30 or so that he has left of these. There are only 252 produced these specific chase pieces. So this is an extremely limited item. If not, I think it's actually the most limited item I own in my collection now. So this is uh, very rare. It's going to be very rare. So if you guys want to order one, they are $50, but I, I honestly think if you're a big collector and you like to collect things for value, this is going to be one of the most valuable things in the future, especially because Bigfoot, but not only because of that, it's also 252 units produced. Nothing like that has been done, I believe, with anything else like Hot Wheels or Spin Master yet. So we'll see what happens, but I think this will be one of the rarest things produced for the diecast monster truck world so far and maybe ever. So Bigfoot 5, again, huge fan of Bigfoot 5. I've never seen it in person. I hope to see it one day, but we're gonna unbox these both. Uh, I am unboxing them. People are like, wait a second, you're unboxing it. Yes, I have yet to see anyone unbox a Chrome chase piece. So I might be the first one. I'm crazy enough to do it only because the packaging is severely damaged. And also the truck has some scuffs that I can see through the packaging. So it's not a big deal to me. I open everything I get. So we're gonna open this Chrome chase piece, but first we're gonna open up the Chrome Bigfoot 5, the standard edition body, which is still a limited edition item. There are, you can see right there, 2,772 produced in the world. Uh, that's significantly higher than obviously the chase piece, but these require uh, scissors to open. So let me cut this open and we'll unbox it in just a moment. And here it is. This is the truck itself in its little stand. 
And then we have the insert card, which I want to show you guys just to prove my point. There is 2,772 of these blue ones produced in the world. And then the chase limited to 252 pieces. That's just insane. So again, that chrome one that I just showed you guys and I'll be showing you in a minute is one of the 252 in the world. And then the rest of the package, I never did a review of this, so you can check it out. Uh, there's the diecast, uh, Grandpa's diecast logo, the chrome limited or edition limited. And then we have the picture of the actual real life truck. Um, super cool. And then the back, same stuff, kind of um, just the green light collectibles and then that. So very cool. Grandpa's diecast getting some recognition. He's been in this industry for a long time and I appreciate uh, Floyd. He's awesome. And I hope that he gets another one of the Bigfoot 5 bodies or another Bigfoot uh, limited edition. I will definitely be buying that if that happens. So anyway, I'll stop talking. Here we go. The Bigfoot 5 Chrome Blue, the standard one. And yeah, this is just crazy cool. Check this out. Um, I will say that pictures and videos and even this video will never do this paint color justice in person. Uh, the color itself is obviously an anodized blue and it's hard to even get the full extent of the color and the depth of the color on video. But I think actually this is a pretty good shot of it. Um, it is definitely reflecting the light. You can see my studio light. It's reflecting the light very well in the actual image of the light. And here's the side panel. You got the giant tires. And then we have Bigfoot, Summit, Firestone, uh, the original Bigfoot uh, cartoon kind of illustration drawing. And then we have Headman, PPG, um, Odyssey, a bunch of different sponsors. And then the back, Bigfoot, Ford, obviously, and then Bob Chandler's. I like how they have that. These decals are insanely clear because they are uh, water slide decals or uh, something to that effect. They are definitely tampos. Um, so they're all clear uh, because it's a collectible line. They can do that. It's a little more expensive. Um, so they have full clear decals. You can see it does have a back window and you can see the seats in there. Um, the summit, this is actually, this body looks like it's crooked to me in the back. It looks like it's sitting off to the right or the left, uh, leaning a little bit, but that's okay. And then the Bigfoot uh, 4x4.com. The shocks, um, looks like a little bit of overspray from the shock right there. Uh, I've heard from other people that they do tend to have overspray on the green lights, but that's okay. Uh, and then there's some sponsor plates, the giant wheels and rims. And then we have the roof. Uh, a little bit scratched up from the packaging, it looks like, uh, but not nearly as bad as the chrome one. I'll show you guys what's wrong with that. But anyway, here's the front, the front grill. The Ford emblem is there. It's almost completely illegible, but it does have the Ford emblem. And then we have the headlights. Everything has its own individual pieces pretty much with this truck. This is way different than the stuff we see with Spin Master, although Spin Master does go pretty far into detail. This is kind of if Spin Master took their line and made a collectible line out of it, this is kind of the product you would see with extra detail and extra attention to the details. So there is the Chrome Blue Bigfoot 5, and compared to the normal one, the pink color is obviously just this rich, dark chrome blue that cannot be replicated with the other Bigfoot. So this is a standard one, kind of metallic paint job, but I definitely prefer this beautiful chrome limited edition blue. And now I will cut open this package. This is the last time you'll see it in the package. This chrome, one of 252 Chase Piece Bigfoot 5. And here it is in all of its glory, the chrome Chase Piece for Bigfoot 5 by Grandpa's Diecast. And this thing is a beauty. Uh, I still prefer the blue. I'm sorry, the chrome is amazing, but I love the blue. But for what it is and the rarity and the, the value of this truck in the future, I know that this thing is just beyond sick. I actually have these little reflectors in my studio to help the light bounce off. I'll try to keep these as close as I can. There you go. I'm sorry for shutting you guys out, but uh, there, you can see the pure chrome right there. That's the best shot I can get of it before continuing on because it's gonna reflect everything it sees. It's pretty much a mirror on giant wheels. And this is gonna be difficult to review because I see myself getting reflected. I don't mind showing my face, I just, it looks like one of those Snapchat filters. So I'm gonna have to keep this reflector card close. But uh, if you look on the uh, hood here, you see that scuff right there, that's hard to ignore. Uh, so that's unfortunate. There's a big scuff on the actual hood, but there is the Bigfoot 5. I'm gonna have to do it from this angle. Again, I'm sorry. Uh, I just don't want to look like a Snapchat filter. So here's the side panel. You can see the sponsor is much better, except for Firestone's a little bit washed out because it's white. But um, there is the side panel. Just an amazing paint job. Something you don't ever see is a chrome style paint like this. Uh, it's very expensive, and that's why you don't see it in die cast unless it's collectibles like this edition. And then uh, there's the roof. Same tampos on the back here. The tailgate. And then this side. 
that is just a beautiful paint job. There is nothing like it that I've seen so far from die cast companies uh, that compares to this paint color. Now, if we get this style paint color from a Max D or a Gravedigger 25th anniversary or an NEA police, those would be insane. So anyway, that has been the Bigfoot number five, Grandpa's Diecast limited edition, not only the normal edition, but the chase piece review, my first ever green light review. And it likely will be one of the only ones I do. So I wanna thank one more time, Donald Price Jr. for these amazing trucks. And thank you to Floyd for collaborating with Greenlight to do these amazing pieces. I think everyone has been just blown away with how they look. And I hope you guys take the time to check out his website. I will link it below and you guys can try and order your own if you guys want to. I highly suggest buying one. These are unlike anything else in the world. So I'll see you guys next time. This is Ryan Ramos, Jim OCD, signing out.